Good morning, Alter Realty Group agents. This is Kevin Lauren. And today I'm joined by Travis Breton as well as Bill Seitz. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Kevin. How are you doing today, Travis? Ah, pretty good. All right, good. Bill, how are you doing today? Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing, Travis? How you doing, Kevin? Very well, thanks. So uh, before we, we're, we're, today we're gonna uh, continue our discussion on YouTube uh, advertising. Um, but before we get into that, uh, Bill has a couple of announcements for us and we wanted to go through uh, loan limits for 2019. And I do have a graphic that you sent me and I'll pull that up, Bill. But you go ahead and uh, tell us what's going on. Yep, yep. Uh, good morning, everybody. Hope everyone's staying dry and warm today. It's a little chilly and cold here in Orange County, uh, but it's a good day to get some stuff done. Um, yeah, there's so going into 2019, uh, the Federal Housing Finance Agency has announced that the 2019 base to informing loan limit will increase. Uh, most of you are probably aware of that figure of about 453,100 is the base conforming loan limit uh, for 2018. Uh, they're gonna increase that 9.3% to 484,350. So some of you that are in those areas where, you know, the, the, the price has gone up, it's been pretty dramatic. Um, this should help a little bit as far as getting underwriting in without maybe going into jumbo, jumbo land and having different sets of guidelines and rules. So there should be a little bit of a relief there. And then those of you that are in high balance uh, high balance counties, some of the Bay Area counties, uh, I believe Contra Costa um, and some of the, those surrounding areas are in the high balance world as, as well as Los Angeles, Orange County. We're going from uh, 679, 650 up to 726, 525. And these are all for uh, you know, single unit homes and, and, it, and it tears up from there. So if you know, one to four units, uh, two units, for example, uh, if you were buying, let's say, a duplex via FHA, um, you'd be going up to 620, and then three units, 749, and then four units, 931. So um, there's a little bit of relief on the horizon, which is good. I know that some areas are slowing down maybe a little bit. Uh, I was talking to someone, uh, an agent that I work with up in the Bay Area yesterday, and she says it's still pretty, pretty strong market up in that Vallejo area. So yeah. um, some of the high end stuff is maybe taking a little bit of a pause down here, but uh, I think it's also a seasonal, a seasonal, uh, you know, seasonal thing. For sure. And yeah. lastly, yeah, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, you know, always this time of year, t things t tend to, to slow down a tiny bit. Not too many people looking to move around the holidays. No, it creates, uh, <laughs> it creates some challenges. <laughs> But um, lastly, I just wanted to uh, let everyone know we did get access. We do have access now to Union Bank's products, and I've really been trying to uh, get with them for uh, quite some time. They have some certain criteria, and they want to see certain things. So we've been able to uh, get Union Bank's products, and what that means for usually high net worth individuals, loan amounts north, you know, obviously jumbo north of a million dollars. Uh, people really start looking at what Union Bank, um, Union Bank, and 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 some of the other big investors have a little more aggressive pricing on jumbo. But Union Bank, in my uh, experience, is far and away the best. So if you do have those high net worth borrowers, you are buying or selling in, a, in that million dollar plus price point. Um, we do have the option for your borrowers, and that's really exciting for us because. Uh, being down here in Southern California, we do come across that quite often, and um, you just have to be competitive. It just you're just not gonna, you know, you're not gonna get the financing if you're a half a point off with these types of individuals. So we've really got the full spectrum now of of investors for really every single. We've got the best of all the investors now, so we really uh, can can provide those uh, solutions and, and products to your to your buyers and of course we'd love to work with you we've got a few agents that are using us pretty regularly and they're very happy so we hope to continue to see some growth in that area for the agents who haven't tried us yet for 2019 and um, you know as always give us a call and 
let us uh, help you out, get a pre-approval or cross-qualify or just run some scenarios by us and or else just call and say hi. We'd love to talk to you. Absolutely. And Bill, um, also, you know, if, if, uh, if you guys haven't used Clearview yet and you'd want to talk to a couple of these agents that, you know, have been using Clearview, not a problem at all. Um, you know, so let us know that for sure. Um, also, Bill, um, where does Jumbo start? What's the, the threshold there? I think you already went over that, but just go over that one more time for me, please. Yeah, so if you're not in a high cost of living county, it starts at that cutoff. Um, it'll be 484. In 2019, it's going to 484, 350. Got it. So okay. it's like, for example, San Bernardino, uh, Riverside County, they don't have uh, a high cost. What, so what happens is after you hit that, that mark, if you're in a high cost county where the, you know, the prices are significantly higher than most areas, they've actually carved out a little niche. It's called like a high balance. Um, you know, so it's a little sub niche between jumbo and the conforming loan limit for that county. Uh, but that, that's only qualifies for a handful of counties in the state. Okay. Well, perfect. Well, uh, Bill, we really appreciate all the work that you've done to get these, uh, these investors and to create this great portfolio. I mean, you've been working super hard at this for a couple of years now. And so uh, we're, we're, we now have all of the investors that we need. And so great, great asset, just a, another uh, great asset for our, our realtors. Absolutely. So, yep. You take it away, guys. Looking forward to hearing about your advertising and stuff. All right. Perfect. Thanks, Bill. Um, all right. Great. So without further ado, we will hop into our uh, YouTube advertising webinar today. And Travis, real quick, what, what, what kind of, uh, kind of overview could you give us on YouTube advertising? Have you done a lot of it or is it something that you're, you're kind of looking at or uh, where, 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 where are you on YouTube advertising? Uh, YouTube, I think, is a, kind of a good supporting um, uh, channel or whatever you want to call it, uh, right. social media channel. Um, that can also give you really good Google juice. You know, um, if you're doing these videos, um, and, and maybe it's not just a, uh, you know, a walkthrough video or something. Maybe it's something with a little more meat in it. Uh, maybe it's a community video. Or, you know, Bill just went over new conforming uh, limits. That's, you know, that's some good content right there that you can make a quick video out of. That's probably shareable. Um, using the SEO portion of uh, the YouTube, I think, is really good, especially you get some extra search engine optimization use. So that's, that's kind of where I use the YouTube part. Um, usually... I don't see a lot of traction on the subscriptions, but I do see it on the Google searches more. Right. Um, and, you know, embedding it into websites and stuff like that is typically uh, what I'm doing with the videos. For sure. So th let me go over that a, a tiny bit. So um, there's a couple different ways to really use these YouTube videos to help SEO. Uh, one of them is to embed the videos themselves into your website. And uh, so YouTube is, is, is owned by Google and Google loves to promote its videos um, because it's, it's their, YouTube is Google's, one of their largest uh, forms of, of, of income comes through Google, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, comes through YouTube. So they are very excited about pumping the videos. So a really good idea is to embed those videos into your website. And another good thing to do is in the actual uh, the video themselves is to put a URL of your website in the video. So what that does is that creates a backlink and a very powerful backlink. A backlink is just having your website URL link on another website that points to your website. So another way to enhance SEO and to, to send people back to your website and, and uh, vice versa. So two different ways. So Travis, would you agree that's that's the other way is to, to basically just you know have your you, you uh, your URL in the uh, and I'll show you in the notes area, the show more. This is where we do a lot of SEO right here, right, Travis? 
Yeah, that's, and it's not hard either, especially no. it's not as difficult as it is for a website. It's much no. easier. Absolutely. So um, in this case, we, we the only uh, keyword that I was looking to optimize this web or this uh, YouTube video for was for our uh, our real uh, our brokerage name, Alta Realty Group CA. So in most cases, what we're trying to do is we're trying to, you know, optimize a video for real estate in a certain area. So the, and the way that we do that is by putting keywords in this area right here. And so I've got a couple of other uh, tutorials on how to do that exactly. Also, as always, I love to sit and do one-on-one -on -one trainings with agents and make sure that they know exactly how to do this. So this is, um, let me go back to our channel. This is our, our YouTube channel. So every realtor should have a YouTube channel. And so what should be on your YouTube channel as a real estate agent? Uh, tips. So there's, um, let me just pull up this guy right here. All different tips. I mean, you could just go through and, you know, do a Google search for real estate tips. So you could be creating your own real estate tips kind of uh, videos. And so that's an easy one. Uh, property walkthroughs is another easy one. Um, you know, uh, community videos, just showcasing, you know, a, 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 you know, a community within your sphere or, you know, in, in your city. Um, other things to do is, you know, just do little tiny blurbs of, you know, hey, here I am with, um, you know, a client and we just closed the sale. How are, you know, Mr. Mrs. Smith, how do you feel? And 30 second clips, just tiny little things like that are really easy, uh, you know, things to, to add to your channel. Would you agree, Travis? Uh, definitely. Um, I, I'd be curious, actually, if you Googled the uh, 2019 conforming loan limits for a certain city to see if anybody has done any videos. That is a really good, good deal. You know, um, Bill, I think that's a great idea for us to do for that. So, and but but agents, you can do stuff like that. And, you know, um, just like you're saying, Travis, there are a lot of keyword phrases that are coming up for 2019 that maybe people haven't, you know, done a lot of optimization for. And so that makes it easy for us as advertisers to optimize a video for something that is going to get traffic in 2019. Maybe not a lot of people are searching that right now, but if we start, you know, doing the work now and create a video about that, you know, uh, put the right keyword phrases in the, you know, notes or in the, uh, the, the sh show more area. And, you know, we can get a lot of traction that way. So really good point, Travis, for sure. And let me pull up our channel again. So for obviously for our channel, you know, we're doing stuff like we are, you know, uh, advertising to agents and so forth. So a little different on our channel, but for, uh, real estate agents, you want to have your channel look really nice. So once you have your, you know, you, you know you've got a couple of YouTube videos um, and you've got your channel looking good, then you can have the opportunity to do, uh, to, to basically get those <coughs> videos out in front of other people that have not subscribed to your channel. So the way that we do that is through Google AdWords. And so this is an example of a campaign that I'm running right now. Um, of one of our uh, one of our videos. This is the the marketing to your sphere of influence video, and this video we've only been running this this ad for uh, I want to say a week, not even a week, and already let's just go to the channel again. Oops. Already, I think we're up over 500 views on this particular one, and I'll just pull it up over here. Sorry, guys. More videos. So these are all of our videos. And yes, so we're up to, this is the, the one right here, 526 views in less than a week. So that just shows you how powerful this is. And of course, we've got in the notes area, we've got a link to our, our website. So again, a nice backlink. Um, 
So 526 views in a couple of days just from doing this. And so um, an average cost of four cents per view, not a lot. So a really, really cost effective way to get, to get your stuff out there a little bit more. And so the, the other thing to, to think about with, with YouTube advertising is just like Travis says, it's not the end all be all. It is a good uh, supplement and it will augment what you're doing, but really, you know, where, where the real dollars uh, are is you want to be spending that on Facebook and, and Instagram these days. So I think you're going to get a little bit more bang for the buck there, but YouTube uh, is a great way to augment that. So uh, definitely I recommend everybody at least try it. And uh, you know, I, I would love to go through a one-on-one -on -one training with you, get you, uh, all up to speed with your YouTube channel, and then we'll launch a couple of campaigns. And so, uh, the the kinds of campaigns to that you would probably want to 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 run would be things like community pages, or I'm sorry, community videos, and even short clips about yourself. So one of our agents, Tom Fesky, did a great video. Um, let me pull this up. So this is an example of, and we won't uh, put the sound on, but this is, here, I'll sh shut the sound off. This is an example of a cool kind of video that I would, you know, choose to be one of my uh, kind of YouTube uh, advertising videos. So it's a really, you know, quick kind of a, 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 a vi video. This is a really unique one because it's pretty funny. And he did this all himself. I mean, this is really cool. He's got his own drone and he, you know, did this cool footage right here. Pardon me. <laughs> so his whole uh, uh, premise of this video is I work harder. And so you see him running across the thing. So this is the kind of video that I would definitely, you know, spend a little bit of money because it's unique. And so this kind of, of thing is <laughs> he's getting a little tattoo there. Yep. Work harder. So, um, you know, so this would be a good one to, to advertise. Also, uh, property videos, perfect thing to advertise. That does two things. Um, it'll give your property, you know, your, your listing a little bit more exposure, but also in the eyes of your seller, that looks really big and you can show them, you know, these, <laughs> Tom's doing his thing here. We'll, we'll stop his deal. You can check that out. Um, just literally Google uh, Tom Fesky and you can watch that video. It's pretty cool. Um, but you can show them, you know, your Google ad campaign uh, results. And so you could do a snapshot of this and say, hey, you know, Mr. Seller, I'm advertising your uh, property on YouTube. And of course, you do the same thing with, with Facebook, uh, Facebook and Instagram. So, uh, Travis, anything to add there? Um, dude. For, for content purposes, I always think about seasonal stuff too. Um, you know, it's a little late right now in the season, but, um, you know, on, on a previous webinar, we had talked about, um, you know, blogs and things like that as far as just coming up with all of the, uh, you know, all the haunted houses in the area or all the, all the tree lighting ceremonies in the area or something like that. You can also do video on that as well. Um, that kind of stuff is really shareable during certain times of the year. Yeah. So you'll get a lot of organic traction on things like that as well. Um, developments are good. Yes. Um, it's kind of a big one in the area or um, even just new home development because you'd be surprised how many people Google, you know, certain builders or certain uh, housing tracks that are going into areas to find out pricing and stuff like that. So, you know, you being there at at the uh, you know the new home site or on, on the construction site part, just going over you know a few general things that are very easy to find information on. You know, it could definitely go a long way. And then if you're keywording it right, your video can come up. You know, sure. first page Google, super super easy. So yeah, not hard at all, guys. And and again, these are so you know we talked a lot about. Um, you know, things like trying to get on Google for, you know, Newport Beach real estate. I mean, you're just, it's not going to happen. But all of these other 
side searches, that's where we have an opportunity as agents to get on the first page of Google and to get some traffic to our uh, our social media and into our websites, into our listings. So, you know, it's a, it's a really, really important deal. Um, you know, so Travis, a very, very good point is, you know, to go after these kind of alternate, uh, you know, keyword phrases that there's not a lot of competition or there's not as much competition. Um, and so you could, good in the sense that if someone is Googling that, they, they kind of know what they want. Right, you know? Exactly. So, it's a it's a very good lead that comes in um, if they if they reach out to you and, and find you on on a keyword search like that because if you are probably seriously considering you know buying a home in, in that new home development or, or something like that so um, while it may not be a heavily searched term it's it's a it's a quality search term in, in my opinion. Oh, for sure. No. And, and that's the thing with these, we call them uh, long tail keyword phrases. And so when you're going after a long tailed keyword phrase, you know, obviously the, uh, the volume of searches is lower, but the person that is doing that search knows very specifically what they want. So it's a much more targeted traffic, smaller traffic, but we, as marketers, we want that targeted traffic. That person is interested in, you know, uh, Benicia, you know, Water's End development. They know what they want, right? And so, yep. again, um, you know, we've we've done some training on on stuff like that. So, you put type in Benicia Water's End listings, and who pops up? Larissa Bergerman at the very top of the page. You know, she's, her, you know, and, and the, notice this, guys, the videos pop up. How do the videos pop up? Because Google wants to promote YouTube. It's very easy. And so, again, and then we do a little, you know, cross kind of uh, marketing with her, and I help her out, and I've embedded her video onto our website. And so this is the kind of thing that you guys can do, too. You can embed these videos into your website. So now look at this. This is a very, very uh, SEO optimized page for Waters and Benicia listings. So heck yeah. And I've got that keyword phrase in here. Not too many times. You know, too many times is, is uh, referred to as, as uh, you know, keyword stuffing. We don't want to do that. Google will pen penalize you for that. But we've got these, these images here. And then, of course, you know, this image right here, I've got it alt tagged. That's uh, basically the alt tag is what the Google spiders view when they go across an image. They don't know what the image is. They can't see the image. But if we alt tag it with a keyword phrase, then Google knows that that image is associated with that particular keyword phrase that we're, we're trying to optimize for. So a um, little bit of a tangent there, but this is how it works. This is, you know, keyword uh, optimization, getting these, these lower uh, you know, um, lower traffic, higher targeted traffic, keyword phrases, really, really important. So uh, great, great point there, Travis. Um, and kind of building on that, I, I have no idea if she has a YouTube channel or how many subscribers she has. So, you know, sometimes people get hung up on, well, why, why do the channel? I, I, you know, I'm not getting any subscribers. Well, this is the byproduct of doing it well. Even if you don't have a lot of subscribers on your channel, you're getting some great Google juice from it. Exactly. And so again, it's all, you know, one piece is just a piece. All of these things together create our marketing mix and our marketing uh, overall picture that we're trying to, you know, put out there into the community. So uh, just, an, uh, but this is a really important one and people really do identify with video. Um, you know, people would much rather watch a video, especially short little clips. They're perfect for social media, you know, really, really important. So yeah, um, creating that YouTube channel, you know, you may not get that many subscribers. You may not have, you know, 10, 107,000 subscribers or whatever it is, but um, you're going to get the juice. And, you know, I don't subscribe to that many channels, but I watch videos all the time. 
So, um, you know, definitely make sure that it's part of the, your marketing mix. So uh, anything else to add there, Travis? I think we, we did go over a lot. This is definitely a good uh, uh, webinar to, to watch and rewatch and um, to get some of these tips because all of it's really, really important. Um, I don't know if you want to cover it on this webinar or another one. Uh, just maybe some uh, organization on the YouTube channel um, and, you know, tagging and the importance of tagging. Um, but doing like a playlist, you know, I don't know if, if she has playlists set up, but if she's maybe going for a few different communities, maybe she wants to organize them into playlists, um, which is also, um, I, I think beneficial too, because one video leads to the next in the same category. Oh, for sure. Um, and so that, what he's talking about is when you are, when you, here, we'll just go to our channel. When you come to a channel, there you you should have everything set up with playlists. So we've got our playlists. You know, uh, we've got our agent video training videos. We've got listing videos. We've got it organized um, so it's easy for the you know the viewer to come in and check your stuff out. The other thing that's great is when you click on a video, you want to make sure that the next video that gets queued up. Is one of your videos because if you don't set it up that way then you know YouTube will just be like all right here's another video and they'll just you know they'll just put you on you know in a loop and all that kind of stuff so uh, really important to get your channel set up properly uh, tagging is really important so for a local realtor you want to have you know what would you suggest for tags uh, Travis um, the way that I do it and the way that I was kind of taught was um, so on this one, you have Ultra Realty Group CA. Um, I would have also thrown that as a tag, as the first tag. Um, so he said to basically do it in relevance um, and not kind of all randomly. So um, if you're going to be throwing a few different tags in there, start with the most relevant one first, um, kind of in an organized fashion. I don't know if that is a, is a, uh, a myth or not as far as making it that much better. But um, yeah, I, I always think, what would I Google? Yeah. To, to find that information and mm -hmm. throw those tags in to whatever it is I'm doing. Oh, that's, that's perfect. And so <clears throat> that's a good, uh, good idea or a, a good uh, point to, to start broad. And so, you know, this is kind of a gross example, but you know, the, uh, real estate, probably you know don't want to start there but you know uh, Newport Beach real estate would be a pretty broad tag with what you're trying to sell if you're a realtor in Newport Beach then from there you want to be tagging other things you know uh, all of the other uh, keyword phrases that go along with that right Travis yeah so on um, if you go back to the playlist real quick So maybe some of the uh, the tags, if you're in the listing videos um, playlist, um, would be those specific communities. Um, right. Sometimes people just Google certain streets. Um, you'd be surprised. Like I said, just think about what would I Google to find something. Uh, maybe it's uh, you know pool homes in Palm Springs. Um, Homes and gated communities, Palm Springs, you know, the right. they can all be tagged, um, just depending on, you know, on, on the subject. Right. And so um, in, in Palm Springs, a lot of people are doing searches for pool properties, right? So, you know, whatever is relevant to your area, that's what you want to be kind of thinking about as, as far as tags, right? Yeah. So, and then if you've done, you know, taking a few listings with pool homes in, the Palm Springs area, maybe you create a little play, a little five pay playlist for that, so that each one of them kind of pops up. I mean, if someone lands on that, lands on that, or you have it uh, embedded into a web page or something, each video that pops up is going to be a full home, you know, one after another. So right. just remember the organization part of it. No, that's a really good point. Um, well, great. Well, Travis, we've run out of time for today's uh, webinar. But as always, thank you so much for, for uh, sharing your insight. 
and uh, any any other I don't see any any uh, questions in the chat so we will end the webinar um, thanks again Travis agents yep. get out there make it a great day and uh, anything that you need from us don't hesitate to contact me 949-285-7209 and uh, have a great weekend guys see you later bye-bye